Yo, what's going on, homies? Uh, today, I'm doing a little bit, some a little bit different. Like, sorry about the hair, I just woke up. Um, but today, it's not a sad day. Whoa. It's uh, Thursday. So, I'm filming today. I do have an exam on today, so a little bit busy, but that's at one, so I'll have time to film after. And hopefully, and I say hopefully because, you know, I'm a bit superstitious like that. Hopefully, I will be going to World Gym and training with the Albino Ape Dan. We're going to be hitting some upper chest and lats. Now, this is probably my favorite day of training. And uh, the reason for this, I don't know if I've ever explained it in my emphasis split. You do a push-pull legs and that works really well because the muscle groups work in combination together. For example, if you're hitting chest, you're also simultaneously hitting tries and vice versa when you go over to hit tries and if you incorporate shoulders in there, you're also you're just hitting that whole area group of muscles and that's why it works really well in combination together. So the emphasis splits are really good because probably half the week you're doing that. On the other half of the week, another really effective training method is to train opposite muscle groups together. And the reason for that is because as one's contracting, the other one's stretching, and that just allows for optimal gains. So obviously when we're hitting upper chest, the arm's going up in the air most of the time, uh, all the times I can think of anyway, and the best thing that is getting stretched is the lats, so that's why I've thrown lats in there on that day, just counteracts the, uh, you know, pushing and pulling, and it's just a really, really effective training method, and a training style that I've incorporated into my split, uh, similar with sad day, but that's more, you know, middle chest and upper back, so that's more of a, you know, straight line push-pull, whereas today is more of a vertical absolutely fire workout if you haven't given this one a go highly highly recommend hugely aesthetic building and it is a goat but right now I've got to study until my exam at one uh, as you can probably see behind me it is raining heaps terrible day but that's all right because we're gonna be inside hitting some absolute insane weight and we might even hit up the lighting room after. I don't think Dan's gonna do upper chest because that man's chest is just huge. He doesn't really prioritize it, which is fair enough, but we're gonna get some sickening pumps, some sickening footage. Anyway, so stick around for that and I uh, hope you do enjoy this. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like, helps me out, even consider leaving a comment and uh, I'll be your best friend, I don't know. Also, one more thing before I go. I just wanted to weigh myself. Now, I have been sort of stripping fat from the naked eye, uh, but I have weighed myself. Haven't lost that much weight, but I think that's just due to like putting on muscle. I've been on real ham lately, so, um, you know, I don't know really what that's from, but I haven't lost all that much weight, even though I'm looking considerably better than I, you know, was. Right now, including the camera, 90.9 so yeah basically so basically without the camera I was weighing like 80.6 I think 88.6 kilograms I'll convert that to pounds but uh, yeah so I haven't lost all that much weight I was I think 91 maybe 91 when starting this so as you can tell not really that much weight loss a little bit of a physique update We're definitely getting the shreds in they're coming good uh, this is me, you know, pretty pretty early in the morning, um, so Yeah, so can't complain definitely shreds are definitely coming through but yeah, it is what it is It is what it is, uh, you know, can't complain if I am putting on muscle while stripping fat I mean that is the goal. So yeah, as I said before, I will see you later at Worlds and yeah, Alright fellas, so I just finished my exam, uh, sweating a little bit because I parked out front of Dan's house and he lives like just off campus, so, you know, it was quite a long walk, I'm not going to lie, it was just too much cardio for me, but anyway, I took a little bit of pre going into that exam, you know, I took about a half a scoop of oxy shred just to get the blood flowing and the fluids going, so hopefully I did alright, you know, I feel like I did alright, not too bad, not too bad, we'll have to see though. Uh, luckily the gym is only right around the corner, literally from Dan's house, so I'll be there in a sec. Dan's already left, he's keen, you know, you can't keep an ape out of the jungle. Fair enough, so I'm gonna go meet up with him there. You know, these are the collabs you guys, you, you, you might not want, but you need, you know. You just need these collabs, man. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go meet the Albino Ape, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna hit up a chest. I'm gonna see what he's hitting, obviously, because I don't know, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you when I'm swinging some weight, weight around. That you, um, you had, you, 
you. And uh, absolutely railing my chest. So let's get into it. Dan, mate, how you going? Not bad. Eh? How have you been? You just tell me. Oh. Fuck, your arms looking huge, They're mate. Getting there. I'm have you been on Phoenix? Do, have you been you. on Phoenix Fitness's full body workouts, <laughs> mate? With that kind of oh, progress. I can't say I approve. Eh? Yeah, no, no one approves. Phoenix, no one approves, mate. Just get off it. What do you reckon of it? Like, if you had to give an in-depth analysis of Phoenix's full body workouts, how would you describe it in your own personal words and opinion? Oh, just, that's, just that's, bullshit. That's it, that's it's it. laughable, isn't it? <laughs> it's laughable. Anyway, what are you hitting today? I actually tried to tell him, but I, I just didn't know what you're hitting. Big shoulders workout and a lot of core at the end. And then you're gonna hit the Chuck posing room. Definitely. Definitely. The in a pose in the back room and a pose in the lighting room. I actually went to everywhere. went to Australia Zoo the other day and I noticed there was a little poster saying missing and it was your fucking image <laughs> on it, mate. And incredibly rare yeah. albino ape. I was like, fuck, man. But I'm all yeah, about. Yeah, I'm on the run, eh? <laughs> yeah. They give you too much tren in there and you just escaped. Is that what happened? <laughs> Bust, <mate. laughs> All right, let's get it. All right, what's good? So you'll see me incline benching 225 pounds here or 100 kilos. I did this for six reps and four sets. Now making sure that the bar touches my chest is a really good way for me to tell that I'm getting full range of motion. I see a lot of people, especially on the incline bench, uh, only getting half range of motion and that is just not ideal. So make sure you're getting that full range of motion for maximum gains. Now moving on to some incline dumbbell flies. Again, making sure getting that full range of motion, getting that squeeze right at the bottom and the contraction at the top. Uh, a word of advice, the more adjacent your arms come from your torso, say for a 90 degree angle, uh, the more you're going to isolate the chest, but at the same time you're going to put more strain onto your shoulders, so just see how you feel. Uh, play it safe, you definitely don't want to injure a rotator cuff. Now moving on to squeeze press, normally I wouldn't recommend squeeze press, but I'm supersetting this with the dumbbell flies, absolutely lethal to superset with, highly highly recommend this superset, uh, pretty simple straightforward exercise there. Now moving on to some cable inclined flies, uh, single handed, making sure that my range of motion is coming from my right hip up to my left shoulder with my pinky facing up towards the roof to try and contract the chest as much as possible. Uh, the cable fly machine is a great variation compared to dumbbell for this one because the time under tension is constant even at the bottom the cable machine is still adding that uh, sort of tension trying to pull me down. Now moving on to some lap pull downs, a lot of different gyms will have a lot of different variations of this machine this is just what world gym has uh, again making sure I get that nice squeeze at the bottom making sure I'm stretching fully at the top almost to a resting position and a slower eccentric time under tension it's a pretty repetitive thing throughout this whole workout moving on to some bent over dumbbell rows uh, single-handed to isolate the lap these are absolutely lethal. I recently incorporated in this my workout after seeing David Lay doing them, uh, and you know I think they're just amazing now. I didn't really like doing them back in the day because the mind muscle connection wasn't really there, but uh, since I'm developing my lats a little bit more, uh, that they're, they're definitely like firing. So again, making sure I get that full range of motion, or squeezing right at the top and stretching all the way at the bottom, and trying to control the weight as much as I can. Now these are absolutely lethal. The cable pull down, lat pull down. One of my favorite exercises, I've always done this on lat day. I uh, highly recommend getting that full range of motion, pulling into my hip and squeezing, and again, stretching at the top. Uh, this will get you some eagle wings, I guarantee you. Think of uh, today's session. Oh, fucking unreal! Yeah, yeah, Un not bad. unbelievable, <laughs> unfucking believable. How's your pump That's going? As you can get. Mine's going great. The shreds coming through. What were you? You tell me you're on a bit of a lean bulk. Oh yeah, lean bulk. What? What are all these pimples yeah. from, mate? That doesn't look natural shred, to me, mate. Possibly. Oh. That does not look natural to me. What are you not telling us? This is better than Greg do sets. Natty or not, because I've got physical evidence, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
that embarrassed laugh. I've got you, mate. But seriously, Dan, how would you rate today's session out of 10? Amazing. Out of 10, though, Dan. As a numerical figure. Well, at least 15. At least 15. Solid. Mate, 15. my chest hurts. I don't get, like, much pain through the muscles these days, but my chest is sore. Right. Mate, I'm telling you, this is what you need to do on like, because my calorie deficit is well below what I would need to maintain. So that means when I eat a little bit more than I, like, you know, than, you know, desired, doesn't matter, just gives me a little bit more, like, makes me look more full, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm fucking saying there? <laughs> anyway, great to see you. World Gym, absolutely lethal. I'll see you next Thursday, hopefully. <sighs> we can't see this, the camera's going off, mate. <laughs> Say goodnight, Dan. All right, so just got home uh, after my exam, after the gym, I had to duck into work to do some, some stuff. And so it's late as hell. I'm tired, man. I'm so tired right now. Haven't eaten all day, basically. So fatigued, it's just not, I'm just, I'm just in the shit, honestly. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I tried to keep it a little bit more gym orientated. So let me know if, uh, drop a comment if, you know, you like that kind of thing or, you know, let me know what you guys are like and what you're vibing with and I'll try and do it a little bit more often. And as always, make sure you do drop a like if you like this video and, uh, I'll see you in the next one.